Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to perform a compression test on my 2011 BMW 535i. Start by removing the rear seat so we can get access to the low pressure fuel pump. With the seat out of the way, we just need to fold back the insulation to access the cover. The cover is held on by five 10 mil nuts. Next, we need to disconnect the two connections. Then remove three fuses related to the fuel system. Next, you want to start the car and let it run out of gas. This ensures that all of the fuel is out of the system. All right, let's move around front and get to those spark plugs. Nice. With all that crap out of the way, we can remove the coils and get to work. These coils are only a year old, but it doesn't hurt to give them a once over. For the record, for the N55 engine, you don't have to keep the coils in order, but I like to stay organized. With the coils out of the way, we'll start by removing the spark plug for cylinder one. Yummy!
Next, we'll thread in the hose for the compression gauge, but only hand tight. Connect the gauge to the hose and we're ready to go. Next, turn over the engine until the reading maxes out, usually 6 to 10 revolutions. Now, lather, rinse, repeat for the remaining cylinders. Cylinder number three. Spark plug number four. I goobered up cylinders 5 and 6 and had to retest both of them, but as you'll see, the results came out better the second time. Alright, cylinder 5, second attempt, much better. 200, that's good. Here's spark plug number 6. It's consistent, that's good. Pretty low. 180. Let's try again. All right, second attempt. Much better. 200. Thanks right. for watching this far. Now let's see how we did. After retesting cylinders five and six, we now have a maximum value of 210 psi on cylinders three and four, and our minimum value is 192 psi on cylinder one. Using 10% is our acceptable variation between max and min readings. Our difference of 18 PSI falls within the acceptable range of 21 PSI. Ooh, Another method we can use to interpret the results is to ensure the min reading is greater than 75% of the max reading. Using this method, we can see that our min reading of 192 PSI is well above the 75% threshold of 158 PSI. So our takeaway from this test is that we have a healthy engine and, with proper maintenance and care, it should last us another 100,000 miles.